What is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm out at a community-wide garage sale. I was at one yesterday as well and did very well. If you didn't see that vlog, go back and check it out. Found some good stuff. But we're just here at this first sale looking to see if we can find any good scores. It is a super nice day, um, so pretty happy to be out and about. And um, just like in all my videos, I will be looking for um, all kinds of stuff to sell on Amazon and eBay and uh, record some of the live footage. This isn't going to be all the sales because I'm going to hit a lot of sales today, but I uh, just like to record a few if you see anything that I should have bought and let me know because I would like, that's how I learn. Um, <laughs> more people tell me, the more I learn. I've been reselling for about six years now. I made it a full-time uh, career, so um, I do have some knowledge, but you can never have enough knowledge. And um, yeah, this this cell here, there's some Reebok down there. I think they wanted like 40 or $50. And I started to notice that, yeah, this is one of those sales where everything's priced up a bit. Uh, DVDs, and one thing, I, one of my goals this year is to be more um, attentive to DVDs because there's so many DVD bolos out there that are just, you wouldn't know that they're worth anywhere from 15, 40 bucks. And you can pick these up usually at garage sales for 50 cents a dollar. So I'm definitely trying to learn more about um, more rare DVDs so I can spot them. Because usually you go to a yard sale, you see 30, 40 DVDs. You don't want to spend a bunch of time just um, scanning them there and looking for them. So you need to know kind of what you're looking for. Definitely unique ones. Here was an Express Yourself game sealed for a dollar, but there's a big tear in it. So um, I didn't really want to mess with that for Amazon. Uh, then I spot a game down here that was sealed. And sure enough, that one was a dollar as well. And I ended up picking up that one, and um, <laughs> I honestly didn't think it would be worth anything. I'm glad I checked. I almost just said, oh, it's not even worth scanning, but I did, and um, yeah, I picked it up for a dollar. Uh, I think it sold for like 40 I'll go over everything at the end that I find. So by this point, I've been to like five or six sales, and I kind of started to realize that I was probably in the wrong part of the city uh, where there's not a lot of sales. I think that was a coach bag hanging there, actually. I don't really like messing with those to sell because I can never tell if they're authentic. Usually they're priced too high anyway, especially at Goodwill. I uh, didn't check the price on that one. Didn't even notice it, honestly. And um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Looking at shoes, shoes are great to find at garage sales because you can usually get them pretty cheap. Uh, some people really value their shoes though, and like it, it was Reebok back there, they wanted 40 or 50 dollars for, just not worth it. Children's books, um, there's money in some of these children's books. I don't know all of the you know ones you should be looking for, but Value Tales is definitely one that I've sold, I made hundreds of dollars on, um, probably close to a thousand dollars now I've made uh, selling Value Tales. So um, definitely keep an eye out for those. And uh, I know there's some like Sesame Street books, there's like 12 or 13. Um, you can make, if you have the whole set, it's in good condition, make like 40 bucks. Maybe you could pick them up for a dollar or two at a yard sale. So it's, it's worth um, being aware of that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, th the sales today just weren't really doing it for me. I was hitting so many and they just weren't that great. Here's a like a Disney thing you hang on your door and it has all these little Disney plushes on it. Um, each plush was priced differently, and uh, it was like a dollar or two, and then the it was like $20 on top of the holder there. And I didn't know if that was 20 for all of it, or 20 just for the holder, then everything priced different. Either way, it's something I don't really don't want to put time into. Uh, probably not too valuable. If I could have got all the figures, all the plushes there for like $5, it may have been worth it. Um, but I know for sure that something there was $20, and I wasn't going to pay that for all of them. Here's some Wii games, a bunch of shovelware, nothing too good. Um, could have picked up maybe the steering wheels, made a little bit of money, just not worth it for me. There's a Toshiba VCR for $4, and I would have picked this up if it had the remote. Right now I got 20, 30, maybe even 40 VCRs I need to deal with. So I'm only buying them if they're cheap and they have the remote, good condition, and good sellers. So that one didn't make the cut. Um, someone else will come pick it up, pay $4 for it, either add a remote to it, or they will uh, <laughs> just sell it as is and make some money. And here's, I spotted something on the way out of this sale. And it was a Chicago Bulls hat for 50 cents. It was a uh, pretty vintage, uh, graphic-y, um, all that 90s stuff you like to see. So this was like my 15th, 20th sale probably. And by this point, it's just, it's just getting to be a bit annoying. Uh, there's, some, there's some gloves I spotted. Uh, they were a what, Regent brand. 
Um, they only they're youth. They're only worth like maybe 15 bucks. I don't know what they had on them. I still got a lot of gloves to sell. I'm not looking to buy $15 gloves right now. Um, plus that brand's just not a good mover unless it's a better glove than a youth size. Uh, a lot of knickknacks. See them at every sale. There's a Mickey down there. Try to trying to improve my camera work. It's just a uh, also trying not to um, be obvious I'm recording when people are talking to me and I'm involved in these sales. Spot a phone, I get instantly sad because I'm trying not to buy so many phones because I'm, I've still got so many I need to test and sell. But I'm like, if the price is good, I'll pick it up. And I couldn't find a price on it. And uh, she had the paper out there, which had the original price on it, so I figured it was probably going to be too much. There's these Sturgis shirts, and I didn't know if they were really valuable. I'm not a clothing reseller. And um, there's, I think, two bucks a piece. So they're pretty cool. And maybe they have some money in them, but I would never list them because I have so much other stuff to list that's just more valuable. So, yeah, a Harley Davidson shirt that was off um, <laughs> off brand. It wasn't actual official. Just stuff like that. Stuff I'm, I'm just really don't feel like messing with. It's not worth my time uh, to be flipping these when I have other stuff that's worth a lot more money I need to be flipping. So this sale was very disappointing. Is an Xbox here. Uh, a bunch of games. You see a Crash Racing for a dollar over there in the back. Nothing, none of the good games had the disc. Um, there's a Star Wars Battlefront 2 down there. Uh, no disc. Um, I asked her about why is the disc for these games. She said, I don't know. They must be somewhere else. My husband's not here. So, got that story. So, I just had to walk out with nothing. Um, get to this sale. Look, a bunch of VCRs here. This guy, I didn't know if any of these worked. And, um... I didn't even ask the price after that. There are Brooks Sonic and one Emerson. The Emerson one actually does okay uh, if you have the remote, which the remote was there. I'm just not going to buy these not knowing if they work correctly. <laughs> so, spot more phones. Um, I believe this one was like $12. I don't know if it was new or not. I can't even remember at this point. But I just put it down. When you see a, a price like that, i just really not going to mess with it. I don't know what it is with little kids and lemonade stands at garage sales, but they always rip me off. I mean, <laughs> such little hustlers. They fill my my little cup here halfway for 50 cents, and then uh, I haven't tasted it yet. It might, might be delicious. I don't know. Not the greatest, but I, I was thirsty, and um, I can respect them out there hustling. But I got some stuff. Um, nothing too great today, honestly. It's kind of been very disappointing of for a lot of things but anyway um i am hungry and i found this in my glove box i don't know if it's expired or what but i'm about to eat it because i'm about to pass out I forgot to eat this morning and uh, i think it's about it for garage sales i don't know if that's one there just like a sign to check that out but um i'm going to drive around a little bit more and see if i can find anything then probably head to the goodwill in this city and then who knows? It's been a month, maybe two months since I've been into this Goodwill. And just like all the other Goodwills, the shelves are suffering. People are just not donating good quality stuff. Uh, Spot the Dinosaur. Of course, I checked to see if it's Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. That was one of the squishy ones. Um, no value there. Um, yeah, just the, the toys are looking a little rough. And um, I don't know what it is with summer. I think like clothing, people still donate quite well here's an erector set um i had one of these like new sealed one time and i had a tr I had a horrible time moving it it took about a year for me to sell it i only got like 40 bucks so anytime i see used erector set pieces i just kind of like i don't really care because i can't imagine them doing too well um i guess i could do more research on them um i'm sure i have before so i must have determined that they're they're not too valuable i'm sure some sets are maybe there's some vintage sets that are um <laughs> Uh, over here, what do we got? Looks like some sort of remote, um, looks like a direct TV remote of some sort. Those don't do too well. And just old office phone, not a good one. Some of the ones with speakers built in are pretty good. Here is uh, a cooler uh, with a radio built in for $15. That's too much. And a lot of people at these garage sales, they were out shopping for the uh, tornado relief because a tornado hit this area a couple days ago. And people are just out buying coolers and shovels at these garage sales to help with the cleanup. Uh, it was a pretty bad. A lot of homes were destroyed. Uh, businesses were destroyed. So um, 
Goodwill, though, they don't want to give that cooler away. If, <laughs> it's got a radio they want $15 for. Like, who cares about tornado victims? Um, that's greed, Will. Um, I'm, I'm not going to judge. I don't know. I always heard that Goodwill is one of the worst places to donate to because hardly anything goes back into the community. Uh, further research would need to be done to prove if that's the case. So I just got out of this Goodwill and did not find anything, but I'm going to try to show you what I got in the garage sales. Um, got it all out here like so, but um, let's see. The first thing here is this Land Before Time. It's a Gund, which is a pretty good brand. I believe it's from 88. Like, what's up, everybody on YouTube? That was stupid. I am sorry I done that. But, uh, yeah, he was 50 cents, and they sell for about... 15 20 bucks plus shipping so for 50 cents um went ahead and picked it up picked up this little mega man for 25 cents i don't know if it has any value i just thought it was cool i'm a pretty big mega man fan mega man 2 to be exact one of my uh, favorite nintendo games but i collect video game stuff and i thought this would be awesome if i ever get around to having a retro video game room so for a quarter i couldn't leave it then right here we got this damn you autocorrect and uh, some sort of game, it was a dollar, it's sealed, it's selling for $40 on Amazon, so I'll make about $25 profit on that, so that's a pretty good pickup. And um, I got these uh, Super Street um, X Mods is what they are. Now what these are, they're like cars that you can take the wheels off, you can, you can mod it and do all this stuff, they're remote control, and uh, this was like a dollar. One of them was a dollar, and there were two of these little plastic storage cases, and the other two were two dollars, so I have five dollars into these. There's a couple sealed little packs to, like, mod them, like this one in there. Only retail for thirteen dollars, but I bought these blind. I didn't know what they were worth, but for that price, I figure, man, the little storage things are worth that. So I looked them up, and sure enough, they are pretty valuable, so... I don't know how many cars I got. There's at least one car each one. I thought there was one that had maybe two or three cars in it. Bunch of parts. Uh, it looks like what I have is going to sell between forty and a hundred dollars. It just depends on what you know cars I have and what parts. I'll have to go into it deeper. But pretty cool uh, pick up there for those X mods cars. This I've been finding a few of these. I still got that wound um, <laughs> from the last couple of vlogs. Um, actually, I've had like three vlogs in the past like three days straight, so I don't know how long it'll take me to get them edited. But anyway, uh, Miss Pac-Man used to be about a forty or fifty dollar unit, not so much anymore. But you can still sell this for twenty, twenty-five dollars all day long. I'll add it to my plug and plays to test. Then I got this uh, Kodak um, Ink. Uh, this is about thirty-seven dollars on Amazon. Not going to sell it on Amazon. There's no expiration date. Kodak never has them, or at least I never find them. Um, so I'll put it on eBay. Um, one sold on eBay for like $35, I think it was, but the others sold for around 20 that sold. So I don't know why that one, other one sold for so much. I might list it for 30 and just wait. Might not be too many left um, that's not sold. Picked up this game, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. It was $2, and I, I don't have it, and it's a pretty... I don't know if it's a good game or not. I never really played any of the others on Wii. But I figured it could go in the collection if it wasn't valuable. Didn't expect it to be valuable, but I also didn't expect it to only be worth $6 shipped complete on um, <laughs> on eBay. I think right now like, is the time to be buying Wii games. Because I don't know if they'll ever you know, become valuable. But there, were a t there was a time you could go buy Nintendo games at garage sales for $0.50. Cents. And they were plentiful, and no one wanted them. Stores were trying to get rid of them, so maybe that's for the Wii. Maybe in 20 years, some kids will be like, I want to play the Wii games I grew up playing, and they'll be looking for them. Who knows? Uh, bought these blind, too. GameCube, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets. Now, I must be the PS2 version. There's a Harry Potter that's pretty valuable. Maybe it's the PS1. I don't know. But I'm like, oh, Chamber of Secrets. I'll just go ahead and, you know, pick this up. It's only uh, $2.50, so um, it's not worth much. It's like $10 or $11 I could sell it for. This one I could sell it for $12 as well. But it's a Lord of the Rings game. Um, 
some sort of RPG. I actually always wanted to play this. Uh, I don't know if it got good reviews or anything. But for $250, I guess they'll just go in the collection. I could make some money on these because I only paid $250, sell them for $12 plus shipping. Oh, what do you make? Like $3 or $4. So they're probably just going to go in the collection. I also picked up this because this is something I'm like, if it's not valuable, I will just keep it because I like games like this, um, fantasy style games. So it's $4. It's some sort of card game. It does sell on Amazon for 20 bucks. So um, I would make, I don't know, like $7 profit. But chances are, and there is a tear right here, so I'll probably just keep that as well. <laughs> now, a lot of this stuff I just, I don't, I don't look up because, like, for the games, for example, and this, the guy was sitting there talking to me the whole time. And I just don't want to, you know, look up stuff and then try to deal like that. It's, it's For one, it's rude, and then people get suspicious that you're looking up and they think whatever they have is valuable because you're looking it up. It's just happened way too many times. This is a really good pickup, but the problem is it has a little bit of staining here. I don't know if that can be gotten out, but this is a Chicago Bulls vintage hat, and it is um, it's pretty clean, really, except for the spots, a little bit of sweat. Official NBA product, and um, it's twill. I'm not a hat expert, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be that valuable. But there's a lot of vintage twill Chicago Bulls hats selling for uh, 40 to $60. And um, that, those are the sold listings. So, um, and honestly, the graphic was not near as cool on the ones that sold. So I think this is, if I can get the stain out, I think I'm going to at least price this at $60 to see if I can get a sale. Paid $0.50 cents for it, so... Really a great pickup. Franklin Spelling Eggs. I need to quit picking these up. This The only reason I got this, it was free. I mean, it sells for 10 bucks on eBay. I don't know if this model even sells well on Amazon anymore. But it's not going to be that much more money. I mean, this thing's going to ship first class. 10 bucks. I mean, it's pretty easy. $5, right? So, free. I don't know if I would have put dropped any money. Maybe if it was like a quarter, I would have paid it. And then I got this Insanity Beach Body set. Um, seems to be all there for two dollars. Looks like it was selling for twenty to thirty dollars, somewhere in that range. You know what? In the end, it's not too bad of a haul, really. A lot of kind of bread and butter items, and a lot of stuff that I'm probably not going to sell. But like the Chicago Bulls hat and the X mods, sort of save the day. Like if I can make forty, fifty dollars on that hat, and um, $40, $50 on the X mods. It's over $100. Uh, make like $10 profit on that. The game's pretty good. Uh, $135, probably about $15 on the ink. So, I don't know, about $150 profit here. Now, I was out quite a bit today. Um, I just kept finding sales, but they were just really disappointing sales, like just really bad stuff. Anyway, um, I have one more Goodwill to hit on the way home. So, we're going to see if we can find anything else to add to this. So I am back from Goodwill in the garage and I did pick up something. This cool metal uh, Budweiser Salutes Coast Guard sign. It was $9.99 and it is from 1994. And I looked it up, there were none on eBay. But Budweiser Salutes the Army sign sold for 100 Budweiser, um, what was it, Air Force maybe. Another one sold for 75 so this is in pretty good condition. It does have a little dent here, which can probably be bent back out, and a couple of little scratches up here. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, for $10, I figure, you know, plus this one's never sold, and it's not on eBay right now, so uh, who knows? Maybe I'll price it $150, $200 just to see if it sells. Uh, probably not for that much. I might do best offer just to see how much I can get. But anyway, that's a nice... Um, bonus for today the garage sales were pretty good um, but this sign just kind of uh, really makes it a good day overall and check out yesterday's vlog um, which I don't know if it's actually you know on YouTube as yesterday depending on when I edit it but um, it should be the last vlog that I done and had a really good day garage selling then too you can see what I found but that's gonna do it for the video everybody make sure you hit that like button for me 
follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Be sure you're subscribed. This has been Wick. Till next time.